Please enjoy our feature presentation. The Little Green Dress presents traditions and legacies. Today's guest, Latasha Draper. Tasha Draper Jackson, and I am originally from Dayton, Ohio, class of 87 Meadowdale Lions, and I currently reside in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. So I've been married 20 years. I have a 16-year-old son that's officially a junior now. And hi. Yes, and I am, I, I'm an event planner. And then I'm a I'm a co-founder, co-owner of a cocktail business. So if you always see me having cocktails on my posts and stuff, so that's kind of intertwined with what I do. I'm a, a co-owner of a cocktail events um, company. Okay, so I'm always wondering what it is that you because I know that I mean you make up a so picture. I mean everything you do in this actually on social. Oh, Kim. I mean, that's really nice. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. It's just really nice. I want to know, um, I see your son and I get pictures and stuff. How did you come up with his dad? Actually, his dad did. Um, do you know the, um, have you heard of Alex Cross, the book? Uh-huh. That's where it came from. It came from the books. Okay. Okay. I was just curious about that. People are asking a lot about my son. And his name is Adrian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we switched the letters of the Indian water. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So, that's our, that's our yeah, how old is so, your son? How old is your son? Uh, my son is a uh, Martin. Say that. And he's, 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 he's graduated high school. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Thank you. He's, 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 he's Yeah, and that's, that's what that's what 
and that's what I'm talking about. Because that would keep your family together. Yes, it would be. It would be my mom. It would be my uh, cousins, my aunts. Um, great uncles. I mean, it was, you know, people that would come. And my brother, we would just, as a family, a whole big family, we would go. And it was just really cool. Really cool. I, I think that's wonderful because I don't want to go to the cemetery. I don't really want to go to the cemetery by myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so, I'm um, I think that's a wonderful idea to go as a collective as a group. Yes. You know, just kind of celebrate the fun before we go and I, and I always asked when I was little, I was like, why are we going? Why do we have to go? And, and I, I was told that it was just, it was for respect. It was a matter of respect. It was for respect, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's I can see that. Well, so that's really a tradition that we have done for, I mean, up till now. Up to, up to okay. Mm-hmm. So you think that these big will take that, that down, down and put the family, you know, watch yes. those? Yes, he will. He will. Awesome. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we want. Yes, that's what we want. That's we want those traditions. Yes, we want those traditions. We, we want, want to keep those stories alive. We want to, you know, to keep them moving on down the line. When I talk about that, people say, "Oh, that's a beautiful story." And we, I feel like we're laughing. Yeah. You know, you just probably don't want to chat with someone so so much. Yeah. Yeah. So now let me ask you this: the the biggest question. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had to think about that one. Yeah. yeah. But, but like, like now, now in the time of the day, day, like it's so, what the, so, I mean, life is short anyway. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But like, since that was from like yesterday, I don't know, maybe because you're getting older. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Do you want to do this today? What did you say? What would you like to do? Kim, you know, I thought about that. My legacy, I, my thoughts have been always live your life to the fullest and do what you can while you're here on this earth. And that's that's the only thing I could take away. I could feel like what my legacy would be that I just try to live my life day to the fullest and just try to do what I can do to make things better on this earth while I'm here. That's, that's, all right. I, that's how I feel. And I kind of took this model from my, um, from my dad. And that's how my dad, you know, he told me when my when my uh, great great grandmother passed away, he told me he said I did everything I could for her while she was on this earth. And you just try to just do what you can while you're here Mm -hmm. for family, for friends, just for the world. Like you know, it's funny you were talking about how things are going on in the world right now, and and I I asked myself, what can I do to help with what's going on in the world? And and I just try to let people. Uh, let them be aware. Let them know what's going on in the world. So you know, mm-hmm. that's how I feel. You feel the same way, or I do feel the same way. Um, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I want to get the message out mm-hmm. about the traditions and like keeping them alive. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like technology makes us move away from it, mm-hmm. but it's important for our children to know. Yeah, and it's funny. You know, when they say when they say and that's my mom and I were talking a while back, and that's a lot about um, having family reunion. And she was like, "Hey, you guys are going to have to keep, you know, you guys will have to keep keep it going." I'm getting, we're getting older. Our generation is getting older. You guys, this is something that you need to keep it going. Right. So, uh, that's just something in a whole that I think about. You know, like as we get older, we've got to kind of keep things going and then I've got to, we've got to introduce things to our kids and hopefully, hopefully our children or, or introduce or keep things going. Right, because if we don't, then we'll have a family that we don't know each other. You know how like you go to a family and you say, oh, that's my cousin? That's my cousin? That's my cousin? Because we didn't get together enough, you know, before yeah. the family we knew. Exactly. exactly. So right, so that's why we have to to keep those things going. I looked up, I'm gonna let you know about it. I looked up um traditional mm-hmm. and legacy is something that that's not going to and traditional, traditional is uh custom and uh beliefs that are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so racism is the fact. 
is a belief that's passed down, and it's a legacy that's passed down. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we should be just as passionate as all of our family. Yeah. And passing down. Um, just as those women are so passionate about passing down. Mm-hmm. They make sure they do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we have to get the family to come back back. And then if you have four families for love, for energy, then, you know, we can overcome the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, I hope through all this is going on with the COVID and all this divisiveness going on in the world, I just, I just, I want to see some kind of change. I mean, it's yeah. just, just too much. Has gone, it's just enough. And right. I, I want to see some type of change from this. You know? Right. I mean, it has to be like, really, I mean, it must be a lot of change because trying to reteach because like all the books and everything, they're all wrong. All the, you know, mm-hmm.